Hey, Benji Kaiser here, and today you wanna to know what the best laptop computer is to post videos, edit videos for online, YouTube, etc. Do you want a Dell? Do you want a Windows? Do you want a Mac? Like, like what do you need? We're gonna talk through this coming at you in just a moment. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out daily videos about how to produce media that packs a punch and builds an audience. And if you like this content as we're going through, don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Also, check out the YouTube cards above or the description below for related videos to this one, as well as some of the gear that we're talking about in this video and the best place to find it. All right, now let's jump on over into the content. So when I first got into graphic design and video, I started on Mac. I had a MacBook Pro 15 inch and I absolutely loved it. it was, it's a great computer, but now I'm using the Dell XPS 15. So what are some of the differences and what do you need to be looking for when you go to invest in a computer for online video, for YouTube? You know, maybe you're just getting started at YouTube or maybe you've been using your phone and now you wanna get a little bit more serious with a mirrorless or DSLR camera. So what kind of power do you need behind a computer? And I'm gonna talk through some of the specs and then give a few recommendations on computers. So first and foremost, let's put these computers down really quick. First and foremost, you want to look at the specs of the computer. Obviously, aesthetics are great, but the thinner the computer, the lighter computer, the more expensive it's going to get. So what are you willing to invest in? You want to have at least 16 gigs of RAM. The reason that's important is when you're working with YouTube uh, or when you're working with video editing, you're probably going to be running multiple applications at once. Maybe you'll be running Final Cut or iMovie or Windows Media Editor. And when you start to run multiple programs, it starts to slow down your computer. The more RAM you have, the faster your computer will go with multiple programs open. That's why I always recommend 16 as a minimum. You can get away with eight but I don't recommend it. I have 32 and my computer is lightning fast. So that's my top recommendation. Number two is will you be doing live video or will you be doing a lot of video editing? If that's so, you wanna make sure you have at least a GTX 1050 graphics card. The reason is it's a faster graphics card, it processes video much faster, exporting, render times, all of that is far faster with at least a GTX 1050. Now, I've noticed that when I'm exporting my videos on my new Dell computer versus my old Mac, I can export a five minute video in about three to five minutes. That used to take anywhere from 17 to 21 minutes to export. So it's just insane how much faster having a really good graphics card as well as the RAM and also a good processor. Takes me to the next point. What kind of processor are you looking for? You wanna get an i7 processor. That's the latest and the greatest and that will allow you to process and keep your computer running fast and smooth throughout all these different things that we will be throughout all these different things you'll be required to do while posting videos, editing videos, editing images, etc. Now, talking hard drives. You can get a computer, you can get a computer with a solid state hard drive and a regular SATA hard drive. The reason that this is good is it's beginning to the reason this is good is it's going to create a more affordable option for you. All your applications are going to run on the solid state hard drive. And if you have a solid state, there's no moving parts. So it allows the information to process faster. And then all the info and files and pictures and videos are all stored on the standard hard drive. In my computer personally, I have a solid state hard drive across the board. I just trust them more. They're more reliable. There's no moving parts. It's far less likely to crash, etc. Now, I recommend getting at least 512 gigs of hard drive space. I mean, one or two terabytes would be like premium because video files are very large, especially that we're getting into 4K. I mean, I'm filming on 4K right now and these video files are mammoth. So you're gonna wanna have a lot of room. You can upgrade your hard drive or you can just buy an external drive, keep some files on your computer and then move you know, all the extra stuff to your external to keep your computer clear and running fast. All right, so you've got the specs. So I'm gonna make some recommendations now. And so I'm gonna make some recommendations and if you're curious about any of these recommendations, you can check them out in the description below. And that's just gonna help you get a really good jump start on finding a computer that fits your needs. First and foremost, I'm gonna recommend the computer that I love at the moment and that's the Dell XPS 15. 
Standard, it comes with 16 gigs of RAM, GTX 1050, comes with the i7 processor, and I got mine with 512 gigs of hard drive. It's decked out. If you're a Mac user, you can snag a MacBook Pro 15. They are far more expensive than the Dell XPS 15. Uh, I think the difference for me was a little under a thousand dollars and my computer is actually faster than the MacBook Pro. So just a little context right there. The MacBook Pro comes standard with 16 gigs of RAM, but the crazy thing about the new Macs is you cannot upgrade almost any of the interior components. They have them all soldered to the motherboard. Where I upgraded my Dell XPS 15 from 16 gigs to 32 gigs of RAM, you cannot do that with the new Mac products. You're stuck. One recommendation I have is if you're getting into this, you want to use Final Cut Pro for your editing software rather than the Adobe Suite with Premiere Pro because the Mac products are just built to run faster on Final Cut, especially with that graphics card. They usually come with about 512 gigs of hard drive and then also the i7, so you're going to be good there. All right, let's get a little bit more budget here. Uh, the HP Omen is a really great budget computer. 16 gigs of RAM, it's got the GTX 1050, uh, i7 processor, and you can usually find them with a 512 hard drive as well as like a 128 SSD plus a one terabyte SATA. So there's some good options there as well. I also love the products coming out from MSI. This is gonna be a little bit heavier of a computer, uh, but the MSI GL72 is fantastic. It's like I said, it's a little bulkier. Uh, it's a little bit lower in the specs, but it's a great budget computer to get you started. And I'll link that one below as well. And another computer that I really like is the Inspiron 7000. Again, that's more along the budget lines and I will put that one in the description below. I just don't wanna take up too much of your time going on and on about all the specs. So I hope that gives you a really good jump into some of the computers that you can pick up to get started with video editing and posting videos to YouTube. And that'll just help you start building out your studio. I'm super stoked to see more and more people come on YouTube and start putting out some great content. Again, if you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. With those daily videos, you are bound to find something that helps you out on your journey. Hit that bell notifier and you won't miss out on a single piece of my content. Comment below if you have any questions. I wanna answer those questions. And also question of the day, what computer have you been looking at for the computer that you wanna get in order to start on YouTube? I'm curious what y'all's feedback is. Mash down on that like button if this video has brought you any value and helped you at all. And my name is Benji Kaiser, benjikaiser.com. I'll see you here on the next episode.